Good morning on this Sunday morning. Allow me to welcome Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Mr. Gary Joseph. Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Ms. Diane George Thomas. Acting Director of Personnel Administration, Public Service Commission Department, Mr. Corey Harrison. Other senior officials in the Service Commission Department, our Chief of Defense Staff, Air Commodore Darrell Daniel, our Commissioner of Police, Mr. Gary Griffith, Commissioner of Prisons, Mr. Dennis Pulchan, Mr. Rodney Smart, Major General Rodney Smart, retired, CEO of ODPM, Acting Deputy Chief Fire Officer, Mr. Mervyn Lane, Acting Divisional Fire Officer and Head of the Fire Service Chaplain Team, Mr. Earl Sampson, other senior officers of the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service, other senior officers of the Auxiliary Fire Service, other specially invited guests, members of the media. Today is yet another milestone and great day for the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. And it gives me great pleasure, and I find it to be a privilege and an honor to be the Minister of National Security who is able to participate in this most auspicious occasion for the fire service. I stood here with a real sense of pride that you're celebrating not only 70 years as this country's fire service, but today to have consecrated your very own flag. The significance of this event should not be underestimated and the significance of the timing should not be underestimated. I was reflecting when I was asked to participate in this most auspicious occasion that it was under my tenure as the Minister of National Security. I had the privilege as a representative of the people of Trinidad and Tobago to participate in the consecration of the flags of our prison service, our police service, and now our fire service. It is all now done. It took us long enough, and the significance must not be overlooked. To you, the men and women of the fire service, I thank you today. Because very often, the citizens forget that you are frontline and the important role that you play in our national security apparatus. And from day one, as a citizen, I've always appreciated it. In fact, you all would have heard me say on previous occasions at the age of three, I said I wanted to be a fire ma. My N was in the form of an H at the age of three. So the full circle has come and as the Minister of National Security charged with the responsibility of working with you and being your advocate at the cabinet table, it gives me great pleasure to participate here today. It would be remiss of me not to remind those present as I look at all of us wearing our face masks that we continue to be in a global pandemic and a global pandemic that at times unfortunately is deadly and as the numbers of persons infected by this virus worldwide and globally go up the number of deaths go up I take the opportunity to remind people to please be safe take the necessary precautions and I plead with you the men and women in the fire service to lead from in front because you are frontline workers and in the last few weeks you've been called to deal with some serious fires around the country and you've done great service and you will continue to do so but we must not forget that we are in a global pandemic and we must continue to take the necessary precautions as we the government continue to offer our sure assistance in doing what needs to be done to protect Trinidad and Tobago. And as I looked around at the men and women who are seated around me, we at National Security have a right to be pride, proud for all that we've done from day one of Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. I thank you. Our Defense Force, I thank you. Our Prison Service, I had pride recently in speaking with some of my counterparts throughout CARICOM as they began to face what we faced in our prison service with the spread of COVID not too long ago. But once again, we came out with flying colors, knock on wood. 
because we were prepared. And despite all of the criticisms and the attacks, we at National Security will continue to do our job fearlessly, without fear or favor, malice or ill will, to protect Trinidad and Tobago. And you in the fire service play an important part as we go into a dry season once again. We all know in the fire service the additional potential difficulties that brings. We've done as much as we can with the limited resources that we have. In the last fiscal, as I see comrade Leo Ramkisun over there, in the last fiscal we've been able to deliver new fire suits finally to the fire service. I was looking at the report, we've delivered a number of different tenders, water trucks, etc. We are in difficult times from a revenue point of view. But I know the fire service is committed, and you and the men and women have my full support as we do what we can with the limited resources. I am never one to complain about limited resources because I believe we must make do with what we have and expand with what we have. And what I ask you to do on this auspicious occasion, your 70th birthday as a fire service, and the day where you can proudly say you participated in the consecration of your own colors. Today you have your own colors. So the next parade that you go to, you will be taking your own colors. Let's continue to serve with pride. As I inspected the parade today and I saw the proud uniforms and the smart uniforms, understand that the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago are counting on you. You have my full commitment as the Minister of National Security. And today is a great day. But in this time of COVID, we must do what we have to and do it safely. So thank you. Thank you for coming out for service. As I was looking at the statistics, we've had 514 men and women join the service in the last fiscal or thereabouts. We will continue to do what we need to do and hopefully get more resources. We've opened new fire stations. One in Pinal in March of last year, one in Roxborough. State-of-the-art stations. We've repaired and renovated others throughout the country. There's more work to be done, no doubt about that. There's always work to be done. In closing, I ask you as a citizen, as a taxpayer, please work with us to maintain the equipment that you have and to make it last that little bit longer and understand that every time you are called to duty, be it to respond to road traffic accident or raging fire or the risky one we had recently at National Petroleum or the one we had recently in Central Trinidad where it was chemicals in a warehouse. We do so with the full support of the Ministry of National Security, the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, and for me as your minister on the front line with you. So thank you. Well done. Congratulations. It's great to participate in this final consecration event as now all of our services in national security have our own colors. Well done. Enjoy the rest of your day, and please be safe out there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I can fast substitution officer Sterling. Honorable Minister of National Security, Mr. Stuart Young. Mr. Gary Griffith, Acting Permanent Secretary, Ministry of National Security. Mr. Corey Harrison, Acting Director of Personnel Administration, Public Service Commission Department. Other Senior Officials, Service Commission Department. Commodore Daryl Daniel, Chief of Defense Staff. Mr. Gary Gifford, Commissioner of Police. Mr. Dennis Pulchan, Commissioner of Prisons. Mr. Rodney Smart, Major General Retired, CEO ODPM. Mr. Mervyn Lane, Acting Deputy Chief Fire Officer. Mr. Earl Sampson, Acting Divisional Fire Officer and Head of the Chaplain Team. Other Senior Officers of the Fire Service. Mr. Ashram Badal, Chief Staff Officer, Officer and Divisional Fire Officer of the Auxiliary Fire Service. Other Senior Officers of the Auxiliary Fire Service. Other specially invited guests, members of the media, all fire service personnel on parade, including members of the fire service band. Welcome and thanks for being here with us on this fine Sunday morning, warm weather. This is indeed a very special occasion and it is a privilege to consecrate the fire service flag 
and two of it so presented. This once in a lifetime sacred event is expected to bring further pride to the men and women who stand by the symbol of the service that they represent. I must at the onset confess that this morning's morning ceremony has been on our to-do list for over a decade. But we can all agree that this is the appointed time, more so in the face of a pandemic, when we need all the blessing and holiness as in this consecration for us to be protected and remain steadfast during the darkest time of existence the world over. We strive to protect life and property, and to do so, we must likewise be protected. We therefore ask the blessing of our Creator on this event as we bear witness to this symbolic act at this moment in time and wish its translation in our lives and on the fire service and on the services that we provide. One may ponder, is it mere coincidence that we are here on this occasion on the 70th year of our existence as an organization? It was only last year that the world over was crying out for a change, and in particular, to, to be rid of 2020 in the face of a raging virus. On the first day of the first month in 2021, the fire service celebrated its 70th birthday, having been established on the 1st of January, 1951. Today, the fire service is again celebrating, this time, the consecration of its color. Further abroad, there has been significant change and developments, all in the month of January. These events denote a wind of change, and it is my hope today, and in the months following, and certainly much further ahead, that the change continues to make it brighter and better for all humanity the world over. To the Honorable Minister of National Security, sir, I thank you for this opportunity, and to all present, and I affirm that as a fire service, we stand and remain committed to respond when summoned, to serve as expected, and to do better where and when we can. In my capacity as a Chief Fire Officer, with the support of the able-bodied men and women under my charge, and the support of your good self, the Ministry of National Security, it is my declaration today that the fire service remains eager to discharge our duties for the comfort and betterment of all our stakeholders and the advancement, advancement of our nation. I thank you. Even as the Even as the parade has been inspected to the iconic songs of the late great Rashaw T.I. Watch out my children, which are fitting words of guidance to any generation. Words of spiritual guidance. These are doubly fitting for this occasion as the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service is the organization, is the organization that has the responsibility for protection of lives and property and safety. The Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service too has within recent years, developed a chaplaincy, a core of persons who are responsible for spiritual well-being and welfare of persons within the service. And we will soon see after the draping of the soon to be consecrated flag, the chaplain after the flag is draped will pronounce blessings and pray for the service. Also to mention persons who are participating in this parade today. The color party, escorted the colors consist of fire substation officer, pilgrim, Fire Substation Officer, Burton, and the Conducting Officer, 
Fire Substation Officer Ford, who will soon accompany the ensign after he receives the consecrated color. We thank God for such beautiful weather today so that we can have a beautiful and excellent parade put on by the Chief Fire Officer, Mr. Marlon Smith. It has been a long-held belief in almost every aspect of man's existence that there exists a higher being that is responsible for the natural order of things on the earth and in the universe. It is on that basis that we direct these proceedings to a being far superior than ourselves. It will therefore be a symbol of our duty to the Most High God and to our brothers and sisters of this great nation to be in the service of the people. We therefore seek out the blessing of Almighty God to have the fire service flag consecrated. Let us pray. Almighty God and Sovereign Lord, ruler of all humanity, we ask that you would accept our service this day. Bless now what we have presented in your name and we ask that your gracious favor will now rest on those who shall embrace the significance of this flag, now committed to their trust. Make them worthy to be called your sons and daughters and ever find in you courage, one of the characteristics of the firefighter, to uphold this trust. This we pray for your name's sake. Amen. O Lord God, who from your throne can see all nations of the earth, Bless our country that it may continue to be a place and people ready and willing to serve you till the end of time. Grant that all who serve beneath our flag be reminded of the mandate placed upon them through our watchwords in the service of the people. I pray that they may work for the good of others, following the example of the one who laid down his life for all humanity, faithful to their promise whilst giving of themselves sacrificially to save lives, to prevent the destruction of property, and to render humanitarian service. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you go forth and serve this country with diligence. To all our troops, serving officers, and all ranks, May you forever be an example of the light that burns as brightly as the fires you are called to extinguish. Always strive to be your brother's keeper and serve the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. And I'll commit you to the mercy and favor of God. May the Lord Almighty bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. We declare this flag of the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service now consecrated in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Second in command of the parade, Assistant Divisional Fire Officer Cattells will bear the color and take it to the Minister of National Security, who shall, in his role as the Honorable Minister with the portfolio, having the charge and command of national security, present the flag, the color, to the fire service ensign Assistant Divisional Fire Officer, Mr. Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as we see the newly presented Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service color consecrated and presented this day 
before our eyes by the Minister of National Security, received by the ensign, Assistant Divisional Fire Officer Allen. As per information, as the newly consecrated color passes by the tent, you are asked to kindly stand. As we see the parade march off, we acknowledge an excellent parade, we acknowledge excellent weather, we acknowledge a day of great accomplishment today, Sunday, January 24, 2021, where the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service has consecrated its color. We, ex we are up acknowledge an excellent performance by the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service Band under the charge of Bandmaster Fire Sub Officer Winchester. On behalf of the Chief Officer and members of the Executive, we would like to take this opportunity to thank all, all persons who were responsible for putting this ceremony together and for the success that it has achieved this morning. A special thank goes out to Acting DFO Williamson for his contribution from the inception of this ceremony. Yeah. 